Oh, good morning, everyone. Or should I say good afternoon? It's 3.33 in the afternoon. What am I doing? Welcome back to the channel. Hope that you're having a wonderful one. As we get back into it, listening to Pretenders, we're moving on to the second track in their album, uh, The Phone Call. Who's calling? We're going to find out who's on the other line. Can I tell you something? Don't you hate when you get a phone call from an unknown number and then there's no message, no text message, no anything? It's just like, who are you and why are you calling me? <laughs> I did think it was cool. There's this one YouTuber that I watch and I, can't, I don't know how, but he got some sort of phone service or something where you can just like randomly text him and occasionally he'll text you back. I've always wanted to do something like that, but I have no idea how to how to go about doing that. And I don't know what service he used or, or anything like that. I just think that'd be kind of random, kind of cool. Anyways, let's go ahead and get into the music. We'll talk about it after. Well, let's go. I like the fun effect. I like how they manipulated that. Let that go into the next track. Let's just let it run. Let's let it run. Is running a mug. They're wilder than their 
the time I feel like you, whoops, I feel like you put on these two tracks and I don't know about you, but you're just having a good time. You're just relaxing. You're vibing out. You're dancing in your bedroom. Your foot in the, your foot in the kitchen. You're just moving. I feel like these are moving tracks. Phone call. I really like the sound effects of the actual phone call that was kind of manipulated near the beginning there. Uh, and then getting into the, oh, I'm sorry, before I get into this track. And then her vocals in there, which were so faintly spoken. Reminded me in some ways of Laurie Anderson, not quite going towards that experimental direction, but the actual delivery. I felt like Chrissy's voice was kind of in a similar navigation. And then getting, getting into Up the Neck, this one, oh, the guitar sounds really light, really lovely. Uh, on guitar here, hold on, it's going to be James Honeyman Scott, which is a great, great name. James Honeyman Scott. Really like that tone. Very light, kind of crunch. da 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 very melodic, easy to move to, and then everyone else gets down on it, especially with the bass. I really like the bass playing by Pete Farndon. And then, uh, this is this is kind of besides the point. I guess on a bonus CD for the actual reissue disc, you have drums played by Nigel Pergram, which at first I was looking at that, and I was like, okay, that's the drummer, but it's not. It's going to be Martin Chambers. But here's something interesting. Nigel Pergram, also known as playing uh, for Steel Eye Span. I, did, I saw that when I was looking up the personnel, and I was like, oh, it's kind of interesting. Nothing to do with the track. <laughs> but interesting nonetheless. But Up the Neck is just one of those, like, I, there's nothing really to, to jump into and really, you know, dissect. But what use does a fun track like this need in dissecting? It's a good rock and roll song. I like her singing here. I, I like the lyrics a lot, which I'm going to have to dive into a little bit. I just really like the way that it all comes together. Not a ton to, like, really dive into. But let's look at these lyrics, though. First for phone call. Let me get back there really quick. This is a mercy mission from a faceless messenger. Who you who don't want to see you hit? Here's the word. Listen to it. Somebody that you used to know is back in town. You better go. So there's a mystery call being put into this particular person. And whoever the caller is on the other side is saying, hey, look, just giving you a heads up. Someone's back in town and you, you're going to want to get out of there. 
That's a that's a scary call. This is a mercy mission, a voice you'll never hear again from a south side call box. Winged demons are the hardest to outfox. The same one you lost on the run. Gonna show you that it ain't no fun. You better get out of town because you're gonna get hit. You'll find your schedule underneath the door. All the arrangements have been made. Major expenses have been paid, as you know. Don't forget the last details. Except no parcels in the mail. Because you're going to get bombed. <laughs> Ooh, now that's scary. You don't want to be in that situation. <laughs> so that, that phone call is a... That's like a good setup for a movie. Follow these instructions. Get out of there. But what's going on? Get out of here. And then moving on into Up the Neck. Anger and lust, my senses running amok, bewildered and deluded have I been hit by a truck. When my tongue lay inside his lip, felt like the time in the womb. But I woke up with a headache that split my skull alone in the room. So, there was some occurrence the night before. She's waking up with a hangover and possibly some regrets. I got down on the floor with my head pressed between my knees under the bed where my, my teeth sunk into my own flesh. I said, baby, oh sweetheart. Lust turns to anger. I love this line. A kiss to a slug. Something fast and emotional turns into something slow and slimy. Something was sticky on your shag rug. Look at the tile. I remember the way he groaned and moved with an animal skill. I rubbed my face in the sweat that ran down his chest. It was all very run of the mill. So maybe it wasn't really that interesting. It wasn't that great of a night. But I noticed his scent started to change somehow. His face went berserk and the veins bulge. She pauses and then says on his brow. I said, baby, oh, sweetheart. Bondage to lust, abuse of facility, blackmailed emotions, confused, the demon, and the devotee. I really like the way that she writes. If she's the one writing, could be a totally different member of the band, could be someone else. But I really like the way that the lyrics are written. There's a little bit of a, a visceral reality to this. I was sure his intentions were sweet and that mine were as well. But a wish is a shot in the dark when your coin's down in the well. You toss your, your coin down, not to the witcher, but you, cut, you toss your coin down into the well, maybe your wish will come true, maybe not. I got out in the hall with my teeth in my head, up to my neck, and I said, 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 dead. I said, baby, oh, sweetheart. So I like how this repeated line of the baby, oh, sweetheart, is said to different people at different times, sometimes to herself, sometimes to this other person. Just nice use of perspective in there. Anyways, great tracks. Let me know what you guys thought of it, though. In the comments below, you can follow me on Twitter. You can support the channel on Patreon. As always, thank you for being here. I appreciate you always being here. Whether it's your first time, or your last time, or your second to last time. Maybe the next one will make you quit. I don't know. Hope not. But <laughs> have a wonderful rest of your day. And I'll see you all later. Bye.